This is part two of a series that will go over all of the different Stormtrooper types and variants. If you missed part one, a link to it will be in the description of this video. First are the Magma Stormtroopers, also known as Magma Troopers. They were responsible for crushing revolts and other actions on volcanic mining planets such as Mustafar and Sullust. Magma Trooper armor was specially designed to withstand extremely high temperatures, including some direct contact with volcanic magma. Depending on the planet, they sometimes wore red armor as camouflage. They usually carried heavy blasters and flamethrowers. Second are the Riot Stormtroopers, also known as Riot Troopers. They specialized in containing and diffusing insurrectionist scenarios on disobedient worlds. They were trained for close combat, and thus were armed with electrostaffs made from lightsaber-resistant cortosis. They were trained alongside of the Imperial Royal Guards and were just as loyal to the Emperor. Third are the Wetland Assault Stormtroopers, also known as Swamp Troopers. They were trained and equipped to operate in forested wetlands and other semi-aquatic environments, such as lakes, rivers, and settlements built on or near waterways. They wore upgraded green armor that allowed for easier operations in humid and poisonous environments. Their armor was tinted green to allow for camouflage in forested wetlands. They were equipped with FC-1 flechetti launchers and also carried rebreathers that allowed them to breathe underwater for a short amount of time. Fourth are the Stormtrooper Grenadiers. They specialized in the use of grenades and were equipped with grenade launchers. They wore a red pauldron and a black bandolier across their chest. Another version of the Stormtrooper Grenadiers wore regular Stormtrooper armor with a backpack that contained several grenades, ammunition, and Bacta products. Instead of a grenade launcher, they were equipped with an SE-14 blaster pistol. Fifth are the Radiation Zone Assault Troopers, also known as Radiation Troopers. They were well equipped to operate in heavy radiation zones and wore silver and black battle armor that protected them from radiation as well as biological and chemical exposure. They were usually equipped with a blaster carbine. Sixth are the Storm Surgeons. They were tasked with performing dangerous medical operations in the field and in combat. They wore a red pauldron. Seventh are the Bomb Squad Stormtroopers, also known as Bomb Troopers. They were trained in the activation and deactivation of explosive charges. Bomb Troopers wore specially modified heavy fire resistant armor for flame precautions. The armor was strong enough to withstand controlled explosions and high velocity shrapnel. They wore a long hood that covered their faceplate, and they all wore safety helmets. Eighth are the EVO Troopers, also known as the Environmental Troopers. They were equipped with heavily enhanced armor with breathing tubes, which allowed them to survive and operate in the most hazardous conditions, such as extreme heat, acid rivers, and lightning. Last for part two are the Dubak Troopers, also known as Dubak Riders. They specialized in riding Dubaks and were used in destroying lightly defended buildings and defenses, as well as attacking hostile combat vehicles. They were also equipped with a flamethrower. Thanks for watching part two of this series. We will continue going over the other Stormtrooper types in part three. A link to watch that video will be added in the description of this video once it's posted. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.